Yo, yo, we're back in Alpha FX. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this smooth zoom in wiggle FX. As the name says, it looks super smooth. Also, we'll be using Sapphire to do this. So, let's just get into After Effects and show you how to do this. So, in After Effects, I have these two clips right here pulled up. Firstly, what we're gonna do is select our first clip. And in here, we're gonna add Sapphire Blur More Curves right here. If you don't know what Blur More Curves does, it just like adds a transform right here. It is literally transform, but a way better version of the the default transform that we got in after effect so firstly what we're gonna do in here is go to where it says g dust right here and hit the stopwatch bring up the keyframe by hitting u in your keyboard right here and go over to the last frame of your clip and just zoom it in all the way in so it is like 0, 0, 0 0.1 percent right here and make sure to put this last keyframe at the very end frame right here then select both of these keyframes f9 to easy ease and then go over to the graph and now in our graph graph we're gonna make a simple graph a tight graph like this nothing too crazy and now after we add that graph we, as you can see we already have that zoom in animation right there this already looks super smooth but we still gotta add the actual animation on our second clip as well so now we'll select our second clip the second footage layer and we're gonna add the same thing in here by my curves and firstly we, what we're gonna do is go to warp x and set it to reflect and in the warp y as well subject to reflect and now what we're gonna do is go into the middle around the middle area of your second clip and zoom it in a little bit using the z disk around like 0.600 for me i'm gonna actually like put this anchor point on our like character so it actually zooms into him and make sure you are roughly around the middle area of your second clip right here and hit the stopwatch in the zoom disk hit u again to bring up those keyframes go over to the first frame and we gonna zoom out now to uh, around like 1.600 something like that don't do it too much because the tile will look ugly if we like go crazy with the amount so i'll go around like yep a 1.700 around like here and easy is those keyframes again and now what we're gonna do is go over to the last frame of the second clip and just like zoom it in all the way this time maybe we even put in the anchor point right there and zoom it all the way and make sure the keyframes at the very last and then go over to the graph by selecting those keyframes as you know we already easy eased all of those so now we just gonna make the tight graph right here so in the second one i'll make this graph right here what we did in the beginning the same one and in our first keyframes we're gonna make a graph like this in here so just copy this graph right here and it will look super smooth now after making those graph if we play it through you can see we have this super smooth zoom transition already going on but of course we're gonna spice this up by adding some wiggles in here so let's just do that so to add wiggles what i like to do is make an adjustment layer right here and trim it to the duration of our second clip and for that there's two ways to do it i'll show you both of the method the easy method will be using my essential fx so for that if i open fx and presets go to animation presets and user presets now i'll be opening the essential fx and transition v2 from here to easily add those wiggle you can use like hard wiggle too we got a lot of wheels right here so you can just play around with all of these presets but if we add this presets and just like scrub through and make it trim it around like here because we don't want it like super impact and play that right there you can see we already have this super smooth wiggle going on with it i really think the wiggle really adds something to the zoom in because a lot of people been using zoom in from a while but they never used it with something like a wiggle so it looks super unique so that's what i love about it you can see this only one preset helps the effect so much and as i said i got a lot of wiggles in here so you can just play around with all of these like a bunch of dope presets in here so i'll link it down below and if you grab it with the essential fx v1 you'll get 80 plus presets so v1 has 40 more in there which has a lot of wheels in there as well so yeah if you download this pack you will edit faster you will like get more clients make more money a lot of user of this pack like end up working 
working with more clients and editing more faster which eventually makes them more money so yeah it is literally like an investment right now so yeah make sure to go into the description and invest in your workflow now but yeah as i promised i'll show you how to do it completely free as well by using something like a sapphire bubble word bubble right here and now in here you can just bring up the frequency bring up the amplitude and now what we're gonna do is hit the stop button in the amplitude put this make sure you are in first frame of your second clip then go over to around the end and just lower it down to zero yeah around like here lower it down to zero right there easy ease those keyframe extend it a little bit more and go into the graph and make a graph like this make a graph like this right here now we can see we have that wiggle right there but it is not moving so to make it move what we're gonna do is use warp rotate direction hit the stop button in there bring up those keyframes again then go over to where your keyframe other keyframe ends around like here and set it to around like 680 or some shit like there so it like cycles two times and now if you play that through you can see we have this really dope wiggle in there as well but using essential fx it saves a lot of time because you don't gotta like do all this process and it has more fx so you're getting a lot of fx in like one pack but now in here you can add something like exposure to make a little flash as it comes right here after the flash you can see it looks super dope but yeah you can go in and add more effects and make this effect look super dope again but i think we're done with it for now because i'm just giving you the idea and the baseline you can like elevate this effect and add more crazy effects in there but yeah i really hope you learned something new and as i said if you want to invest into your workflow and edit faster and better i'll link my essential effects down below trust me it will be one of your greatest investment in this like video editing scene but with that that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider the like button and also subscribe to my channel do all that good stuff and i'll see you on the next one peace